guys so um I wanted to kind of update you I've been kind of like MIA for like a couple weeks um so I found out I actually did break my toe and then after that I accidentally stubbed it really bad a couple times against bookshelves and I'm a klutz so and it, you know when you break your toe you can't really put real shoes on to protect them so it kind of like caused a huge problem Sorry. <laughs> and um, so I was kind of like out of commission for a couple weeks um, but now I'm back um, I'm kind of doing more teacher prep things um, yeah I'm not really actually in a classroom yet but um, the reason why I'm doing teacher prep is because so for most places now in preschool places they can have you don't you can have to receive at least four credits and you can become a teacher for early education um that's like the minimum requirement for not just preschool but early childhood education period so once i receive those credits i plan on going as quick as i can into preschool so i can start saving up and getting more job experience as a teacher and then so just kind of a little bit of my plan right now is i'm trying to get everything kind of the necessities like things that are going to take up a whole bunch of time for me like um classroom decor so i'm trying to kind of or like you know set up make make your my alphabet and my numbers for my wall and all that fun jazzy stuff and so i'm trying to get it now ahead of time because even now it's been taking me the this whole um vacation break and it's pretty crazy i've never expected to do as much as i have been doing this we're working on a felt project sorry um as you can see <laughs> um so for me i am just trying to really do as much as i can because i do know what exactly what i want to do i want to do farm theme and so that's why i already have my group signs done and stuff so i have things that i know i'm going to do and it's not that's not going to change at all i'm just gonna sorry i'm trying to put this to where i don't lose belts but also i don't want to ruin nicely but um so I know what this is what I'm going to do for my classroom this this and this because I don't want to necessarily um not work on something and have to be you know sometimes teachers don't get enough time to set up a classroom how they want and I have a feeling that I'm probably gonna most likely only get maybe a day or two to set up a classroom which is hard and if you don't have any of the stuff prepared, it's, it's gonna be a struggle. And I don't really wanna struggle. I wanna make it as swift and quick as possible because that's kind of like what I like to do. And if I don't use things, I don't use these things. Um, I'm not going out of my way to buy a lot of them. Like my letters, I just printed them out. I'm gonna make them on card, card stock that I already have and I've had for a while. So it's not gonna be that big a deal for me. Sorry, I'm just looking at all the stuff. And, um, so yeah, so that's kind of my plan. Um, I'm just trying to get everything prepared. Um, if I do get craft stuff for a classroom, I have, you know, I get containers to put them in, in the storage for me, in the storage for kids. I'm going to teach them for sure. Um, and a lot of people might think, oh, like, a four-year-old's transitional kindergarten is not old enough to do that that and that and you know what i'll be 
leave into kids. If anything, it surprises me how much more a lot of these kids are able to do if you allow them to. So I have definitely a lot of things that I need to um, accomplish if I want my classroom to go well, which isn't a bad thing. Um, and I'm glad I'm kind of getting it done and out of the way now because later on in life it's not going to be so easy. It's going to be harder once I get into that role and I'm, I'm going to want to prepare for curriculum. I'm going to want to prepare for it. Okay, what am I going to teach the first week, first week of school? I'm not going to want to worry about, oh, how am I supposed to set up my classroom and how am I supposed to do this and do that? I want to have that done and over with. Um, <laughs> definitely don't want to focus too much on things that aren't going to help me because I'm there to teach kids and I'm not there to focus on persistence and it sucks because a part of ECE is that you have to really um it's everything like when it comes to classroom like they teach us this in school um classroom setup is a major thing like it's like they set aside like every part of the aspect even when it comes to how you store things how everything is easily accessible for kids and you like they really hone in on even the littlest of details and it's kind of a lot to go over <laughs> in class because i took a short term to class technically for it and i was honestly like Oh my gosh like overwhelmed because we didn't have that much time and it's something in depth that you would wish that your teacher would explain a little bit more and talk about more because there's a lot like you know especially as a new teacher you kind of want to learn everything especially how you know set up classroom and stuff like that what's good for kids what's not good for kids and so it's just kind of like a roller coaster of things I've learned um, just surprisingly over this past um, semester I've learned so much and I'm actually quite excited and quite happy to learn but at the same time it's a little, it's a little wild. So I'm, I'm personally really excited about it and that's why I'm kind of like doo -doo -doo, doing my own stuff, getting my own things. Um, and I know a lot of teachers out there say, oh, you have to wait till the day of classroom. Honestly, if you're excited and you don't use it, then you don't use it. And if it doesn't work in your classroom, you know, you can give it to a teacher or give it to a group of people who are teaching who are going to be able to incorporate that in their own classroom. And you know, for me, I'm very, I'm going to be a very minimalist teacher because I really don't want to deal with things that I don't need to deal with. Um, I don't want to have to come into a classroom with absolutely no space and be like, oh my gosh, where am I going to put everything? And I have so much stuff. I don't want that. I fear that. And um, so I'm very minimalist. Like, I'm not going to have any more books than I have. I probably have around 200 books and a lot of people are like, oh, that's not enough books. And I'm really like, oh, I don't need that many books. My kids aren't going to read all the books. And I have a really great variety of them, so I'm not like too, like, oh, I need more. I definitely do not need more. No. Um, but yeah, so I've just kind of been more teacher being prepping. And I'm also been putting together my portfolio, which um, it isn't absolutely necessary for preschool and stuff. They're most likely not going to use it, but for my own purposes, remember, you know, in case of they might ask me about it, I already have it. All the time. So I'm putting a lot of effort into it, more than a lot of people expect. Um. But yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing this whole summer while I've been waiting for the next semester in fall. Um, it's kind of one of those things where I'm just kind of hoping for the best 
and just trying to get as much as I can done because that's all you can do really is just kind of hope that everything's going to get done when you need it to. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what I've been up to and I thought you guys would really like to know, especially because I probably won't post this for a really long time um, because I don't think I have that much footage. I'll have to see what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of been a little bit crazy. Um, my toe won't be healed for another um, probably four weeks or so because it takes this my particular fracture is probably not going to be fixed for another week. Yeah, because he said six weeks. So I was talking about it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi guys. So um, as you can see up above, I'm doing a new project. Um, let me show you. So I am doing lavender in my room. So this is kind of my first little project. You don't know if you can see. That's the lavender I chose. So that's I mean, the lavender as the triangles. I basically primed it so that way the lavender will pop better because the walls on the edge are kind of like this weird tan color and I don't like it. And so that's what I'm doing. Because uh, we're like painting like the whole place right now. So I'm just kind of repainting the top for right now. And then I know like every time I come in here and you guys see me, I'm always changing it. Yeah, that's me. So I am getting rid of some stuff too. I'm getting rid of some art books that I don't use, like calligraphy and stuff. I'm giving that to my brother. And I do have some books here that I'm keeping. Um, I also have more preschool stuff. So I finished um, my class room rules poster, which I really love, and my birthday poster. And I got this really cool um, circle time felt weather chart thing from Target, as well as a pocket charts and all that fun jazz. So I've been accumulating and collecting, which has caused a little bit of an issue in here because there isn't as much room. It doesn't help that I'm not like organizing right, so I'm kind of doing all the triangles first. I'm gonna tackle my rainbow um, drawers because I'm getting rid of things in my rainbow drawers that I don't need and I don't use because I want all my art supplies really in this shelf here. Um, that's my plan because I want to use my rainbow cart for preschool, my teach preschool, I might forget a little bit, but um, yeah, so I'm kind of like going through everything, um, especially since once I organize my canvases a little bit better, I'll have quite a lot more room to do things, more leg space and organizing space, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. <sighs>
<laughs> Get all those disgusting bugs. Oh my god, that's so nasty. <laughs> So I'm having kind of a bit of an issue um, All morning well yesterday it was raining while we were camping and so it was only for a couple hours but today it decided to be a butthead and The weather decided I'm gonna rain for a couple hours and then we're having problem after problem And it came in really fast. It's just super crazy like Literally within like a 15 minute span, the rain clouds came and it was like, boom, like, it was absolutely crazy. Poor Athena, she's like on the other side over here and she's like trying to sleep and the water's pouring in because we're in tents, as you can hear and see. And the thing about tents is that it leaks through. So now all our pillows are wet, the floor's pretty wet, it's cold because I'm up in the mountains where there's still snow. So yeah, it's just been crazy. And I've been going crazy. I'm hungry, so Chris went to go get food. But there was a mudslide because of the rain. So it's just kind of been like right now, like problem after problem. Oh my God, it's soaking wet. You can see it, like it's soaking through the tent. And unfortunately there's nothing I can do about it. Like we have two tarps on top of the tent. Like the one it came with and then another one. So it's just been a little bit crazy. And tonight's tent clear last night. So we were hoping to, uh, oh, excuse me. We were hoping to set up the fire. We were gonna make chicken noodle soup, but that's not happening, so. It sucks too because um, the stores and the um, food places here close at 6.30 um, or at 6. So it's like really insanely early. So if you're hungry and you're eating and you know, so you had to go now. It's only like 4, 3.34. So it's just kind of been a little crazy. Um, and it's parents left so it's just us here right now because we were in a group and they had to go home so it's just been one of those days where like it's just been absolutely nuts because we were even, we were gonna go fishing because we went fishing this morning but um the thing that tightens the um reel flew off onto the bridge so I couldn't fish anymore so we came back and then it was just kind of like thing after thing like I heard wolves last night I was so scared they were so loud they're like Arr! it was absolutely crazy I have no idea it's just been a roller coaster camping I haven't been camping like this since I was probably seven so it's just been kind of absolutely nuts and my hair's a rest because I haven't been able to wash it or like I have to kind of like brush it while it's dry which sucks because I have curly hair so it's just kind of been up with pigtails or like little buns all week since Tuesday so it's just been absolutely too much for me I think I just kind of want to eat and go to sleep and it's super early so yeah that's just kind of the dilemma I've been in it's just been thing after thing lately I don't even know what to do right now. I will catch you up on the next time.